Hi guys and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well today. Just wanted to say thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, all information is in the description box down below, okay? Um, so today I'm working on my Zodiac deck. So I'm currently designing the energy of Sagittarius, okay? And so um. Um, I'm getting the message of optimism, optimism, excitement, passion, expansion, okay, um, I feel like for some of you, a Sagittarius could be very significant, you may have that in your chart, um, you may meet a Sagittarius or you could just be embodying this energy or you need to pay attention to your Jupiter placement in your chart, I definitely feel like for some of you, you're going to be, um, very motivated to do something or to go towards something that you are really passionate about okay i'm hearing something about taking flights so some of you could be thinking about relocation maybe if it's not a country it could just be a job a situation but i feel like there needs to be movement and um, for some of you you could have felt quite stuck uh maybe you just felt like you wasn't um you wasn't how can i say yeah like things just weren't um stable in your life not stable but um things weren't moving off of the ground okay so for some of you could have felt a bit too stable just not st like I'm, I'm i'm seeing the picture of the um the four of pentacles in my mind so just not shifting not budging okay maybe some of you kind of felt like you know stuck like you just don't know what to do you don't know where to go um i feel like you are going to be very motivated okay so there may be something that you see that inspires you okay or you may just um there may have been something that you've decided to release you've decided to let go of i feel like once you do that you're going to feel a shift man i'm telling you i'm telling you guys i'm sharing the energy with you you're going to feel a positive shift and a positive release okay so there may be something that you need to let go of somebody that you need to let go of there may be like a perspective or a mindset that you need to let go of but i feel like there's something that you need to release um and when you release this um it's going to help you to propel forward okay um so yeah you need to be more in, uh, um, optimistic and more enthusiastic okay you need to kind of um you know embody jupiter energy embody sagittarian energy okay especially if a lot like some of you have a lot of you may have a lot of air or a lot of earth in your chart okay if you lack fire in your chart um then you need to work with fire, like you need to work with creativity, you need to work with candles, you need to do something that you are passionate about. Now, for some of you, you may be hella fiery, okay? Um, you may need to tame yourself, okay? Because, you know, Sagittarius could be that in and out energy, you know, the Knight of Wands. Like... So maybe some of you are going a bit too fast paced when it comes to something and you may need to slow yourself down okay but just take it how it resonates but i'm hearing the energy of go after what you want go after what it is that you're passionate about like if there's something that you're doing for work for example and you're not passionate about it sometimes you've got to think to yourself why am i doing this maybe it's for your stability maybe it's for your money okay well how can you make it more exciting how can you make it more interesting or what else could you do besides that because there's always something that we kind of have to do for work that we don't really want to do okay so what else can you do um to kind of ignite that passion okay um so yes, I also feel like there could be somebody charging towards you. They may want to express that you are their inspiration, that they're very passionate about you, that they may want to move something to the next level. I also feel like somebody really desires you. Somebody's very attracted to you. Somebody also loves your hair. There's something about your hair and your body or your complexion or a combination of all, okay? I'm also hearing something about like a natural beauty, like somebody likes you in your natural state or somebody just likes your authenticity okay but somebody is very much attracted to you and very much des um, desiring you okay um now it's very interesting because i'm hearing something about something is not what it seems i was i was researching colors you know i read colors and i read energy right okay and i was thinking to myself what color background do i want to do for sagittarius so i kept on hearing orange 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 um but when i looked up what colors represent sagittarius the color purple came up and i was like purple and you know a purple does represent wisdom and sages are very very wise okay you you are you are the wise ones of the zodiac like you're extremely intelligent we know okay but purple to me you know it represents royalty regalness intuition but i wouldn't i wouldn't put purple with sagittarius that that just doesn't make any sense to me and you know when you think about jupiter it's kind of like an orangey yellow color so um I, and you know orange is 
made up of the colors yellow and red you know lust passion excitement joy like it's a combination of those things all in one oh say okay so creativity so i thought to myself i feel like there's something about the zodiacs or there's something about tarot there's something about um what we've been taught that's just not right i feel like you know for those of you that like are really kind of tapped in like you need to kind of read in between the lines when it comes to um what we've been told because even if you think about tarot right um the um i think it was right away that changed um some of the cards because i think correct me if i'm no well, don't correct me if i'm wrong i'll correct myself and no, i'm joking <laughs> Because I can't remember. I think it was... I read somewhere... Well, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you can. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I read somewhere that... um, oh, I'm trying to fucking remember now. I think it was the Strength card and the Magician. I think the Strength and the Magician got swapped. The number 8 and the 11 got swapped, okay? Um... Yeah, somebody came and they changed it. I think it was right away that changed it. But but this is what I'm trying to say. Like, people... Because I, I, I spoke about this in a reading the other day when I was saying that when you read something, um, it's, it's you're reading something that is somebody's perception, okay? So it, not everything that you read is true. It's just... It's, it's somebody's thoughts or how somebody has viewed a situation or somebody else's findings. It's, it's their words that you're reading on a piece of paper. So... You, you always have to kind of tread lightly with, with the information that you read, okay? Not everything, just because, because you know, especially people who kind of like read a lot or they're very kind of knowledge up, they kind of think, okay, well, the book said this, so this is what it is. Well, not really. Sometimes that's exactly what it ain't, <laughs> okay? So you need to kind of read in between the lines. Things are not always what it seems or um, you, you've got to just kind of remember that um, how we perceive things isn't always how somebody else perceives it, Okay. So yeah, because I was thinking about that. I was thinking, well, the colour purple, I would never look at a Sagittarius or I would never think about Sagittarian energy and think about the colour purple. Like, never. Never, ever. Even though I can see how the colour purple can relate to Sagittarian energy, I can see how it can relate. But that's not what I think about when I think about Sagittarian energy or fire signs in general. Do you know what I mean? When you think about fire, what colour is fire? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just even fire it goes it has like a, the element of blue in it okay so where does the purple come from do you know what i mean so i kind of just feel like you know there's something that requires wisdom and logic and um perception okay so maybe there, there's something that you're researching or you're looking at and you're just kind of thinking this don't this just don't just something here just does not add up to me man like just something's just not adding up um now this could be a person maybe somebody's not what they like seem like like somebody could like have the embodiment and the energy and the attraction of of like a um like a fire sign like someone could be really attractive and really alluring and really flirtatious and really charismatic but you know their minds on king of swords energy my nigga like do you know what i mean like they're they're real like clued up so i just feel like something isn't what it seems or you kind of just need to look deeper into something okay i feel like whatever it is that you're going to look deeper into i feel like that's probably what's going to ignite, to ignite your passion because for some of you you may become obsessed about trying to work something out i'm hearing something about like philosophy like them unanswered questions like what came first the bumper clock chicken or the egg we don't know we don't know like what came first because if the egg comes from the chicken right i mean do you know what let's not even get into that let's not even get into that but but you know what i mean i feel like I feel like some of you are going to kind of like crack a code or you're going to have the answer to the to the to the impossible question. Like I feel like there's 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 a theory that you're going to have like scientists people over time they have not able to figure this shit out, but you are going to be able to figure this shit out. Okay? Maybe you are an angel, an earth angel, that Sagittarian energy. Because, you know, the Sagittarius again, even with Sagittarius energy, like they say it like rules like, you know. The, um, like the nine of wands and the ten of wands, but it's also the temperance card. Do you know what I mean? That's like balance, that's symphony, that's patience, but it's, it's kind of like the complete opposite energy to what Sagittarius is kind of like known for. But then I just see it as like the bad and the good qualities because we all have, um, every sign has a bad and a, a dark side and a light side, okay? But yeah, but I feel like for some of you as well, I feel like somebody could have misjudged you also. 
So they may have put you on like the bad side. Okay, well you're 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 irritating or you're this or you're 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 that, but it's really them. They're projecting. Really, you're you're an angelic being and you just fuck, you're a prophet. You just be knowing shit. And I feel like that makes that makes I feel like you make someone feel insecure or agitated. Because because you could be somebody that's very attractive, but you're very knowledgeable. You just don't fit into society's norms. Like somebody just cannot, you you could be the enigma that somebody cannot figure out, but that's not your problem. <laughs> okay. I feel like people need to ask questions rather than studying and trying to fucking, you know, um, because I feel like people study people to try and conquer them or to try and see how they can use them to their advantage. That's not what you should be doing. You should be embracing somebody's, um, mystery and uniqueness okay but anyway that's all i've got for you guys today so i hope you guys are well okay um i hope you guys like my design also it's, well, I, it's not really finished yet. i don't know what else to add i'm just thinking here okay but they wanted me to share this with you so um that's what i did um so yeah toodle pips and toodle poops also for any of you like i said my decks are out for pre-order all my decks i'm working on will be limited edition so if i decide to resell them i will but you have to order it at the time frame that it's at okay um because once it's going it's going okay and that's for everything that i'm releasing everything i'm releasing limited edition like like ebony products okay if you get a little ebony while, i'm hearing catch me while i can sagittarian energy catch me while i'm kind okay catch me while you can my guys okay <laughs> 11.33 I just saw, so that can be very significant to you, okay? So you may be seeing a lot of sign symbols and synchronicities. Um, also, um, I'm hearing to get creative. Some of you need to get creative. Some of you need to paint, you need to draw, okay? You need to plant. I got up today and I went to go plant like a sunflower because I've been, you know, speaking about that with someone for a while. Like, yeah, we need to plant, you know, our sunflowers and... I got up today to go and do it and I had no more sunflower seeds left. And I was like, what happened to my sunflower seeds? Like, what's going on, Joe? Um, But just me kind of being motivated to get up and do that kind of motivated me to kind of do all these other things. So um, I'm hearing like, you need to get up. You need to get up and do something. Do something that makes you kind of happy, okay? I now need to make sure I go and fucking order some more sunflower seeds. But um, even when you think about what the sunflower represents abundance joy happiness admiration okay the energy of the sun leo energy fire energy okay so i'm hearing something about it's your time to shine or you need to shine or you need to work on your own sunshine be your own sunshine okay someone called me sunshine yesterday as well which was very um it was I, I was getting so much confirmation yesterday like i saw like a rainbow i saw like i was walking past a house a woman was sneezing i was like bless you bless you she couldn't hear me though um and it was crazy because i went into that a jamaican shop yesterday i went to go to the caribbean shop to get a patty right and um you know how it is everybody knows in the caribbean shop i just don't know why um the caribbean women just always have to have some type of attitude but them just always do okay that's how them steer right but oh 13 13 i just looked at the phone but like when i went when I went in yesterday, the woman was really friendly. Even though she left the change on the counter, which I thought was real rude. Um, she was like, oh, um, have a beautiful day, sunshine. Or something like that. But she called me sunshine. But her saying that was major confirmation to me. Because 1331, 1333 as I looked at the clock. So yeah, Jupiter energy. The 333. Listen, stop it. Synchronicities. But yeah, but <laughs> I'm really excited, man. I'm really feeling this energy like, yes. But um yeah the woman she um she, the fact that she said that because i don't think i've ever gone into that shop and like anyone's ever been overly nice i know one time there was a woman that was really nice to me but she didn't say anything like nice she just had a pleasant attitude but normally like you know when you go to them types of shops they don't have they just they just always have like a stink face and they're just re really rude for no fucking reason but she was really nice and the fact that she said sunshine um, kind of really stuck with me, 1414 as I looked at the clock, okay, your heart's desires, I'm hearing, you're manifesting your heart's desires, somebody also wants to tell you that they love you, okay, um, something's also going to be stabilized in your life, but, um, yeah, so I thought to myself, like, you know, something is going to shift, because, you know, something sour is going to turn sweet, because that sour energy, you go into the Caribbean shop, they're just sour, their attitude's sour. But the food good, though, that's why you're there. Like, I'm giving you my money because your because your food is good. But just fucking be polite, bitch. But she was polite. And not only was she polite, she she called me sunshine. 
so that was really really like nice okay um so i i don't know why it just made me feel good but it was because it was a confirmation for me because i was asking the universe for something and she, the fact that she said that that kind of answered my question um so yes yeah, so i'm hearing that something that was sour is going to turn sweet okay so yeah but anyway um i hope you enjoyed this message and um have a good dear and a good rest of the i was gonna say good rest of the evening so for some of you it could be evening where you are because it's not where i am it's in the morning i don't know why i even said that okay um also what else was i going to say and yeah i've i've like worked really hard this month on my channel so just go and explore all the readings i've done like three readings for each zodiac sign you've got week ahead updates you've got general readings for the month you've got love readings for the month you've also got elemental readings for the month so there's so much on the channel to explore you just have to scroll because you know you've got people in the comments like oh you haven't done this and you haven't done that i've done everything darling you haven't looked <laughs> okay you just need to scroll okay all right, but thank you so much, guys, and toodles.